Now usually, when you hear the word Delta, you usually think one of two things. Number one is probably Revenge of the Nerds and those dorms, you know, Delta, Kappa, whatever. Or number two, more commonly, you think of Delta Airlines. Now in a similar vein, when you think of Delta credit cards, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? You'll be thinking like, oh, if you have this Delta card, maybe you get 15% off when you book with Miles for a Delta flight. You might also be thinking like, oh, maybe I can get my check bags completely for free for me and up to nine people on my reservation. You might also be thinking like, oh, maybe I can board the plane a lot faster with priority boarding even though everybody kind of books main cabin anyway, which means you all kind of board at the same time. But the one thing you don't usually think about when you hear Delta is hotels. Until today, because if you're unaware, American Express has revamped the entire lineup of Delta Airlines credit cards, which has introduced some credits, more specifically like rideshare credits, resi credits, and Delta Stays Hotel Credits. Now the card that I have in my hand specifically is the Delta Gold Sky Miles credit card that came with a $0 annual fee for the first year, and I believe my annual fee is going to come up soon, which is either going to renew at the original $95 annual fee when I first applied, or it's going to renew at the revamped annual fee of $150. And since the annual fee is coming up on this card very, very soon, I have a decision to make on whether to keep it or to cancel it, but let's just say that this recent revamp kind of has me questioning my decision. I'll explain. So this card specifically, the Delta Gold business card, comes with a $150 every single year credit towards Delta Stays. And if you're unfamiliar, Delta Stays uses Expedia as a third-party booking software, which basically allows you to book almost any hotel in the world, just because most hotels happen to be on Expedia anyway, and for all those hotels to be eligible for this $150 credit. So there's two things that I did recently that really has opened my eyes to this credit itself. Number one, you might have saw my video, but I basically used my first $100 $150 credits on my wife's card to book the ancient lore village in Knoxville, Tennessee and get $150 off the total price of that hotel. Now that was something I never would have been able to experience if I just held my Hilton points or my Marriott points. But during that trip, there was another hotel that I didn't actually show you guys to which I'm now calling the infamous $7 hotel. Why do I call it the $7 hotel? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, this hotel is called the Wayback. It's right in the heart of Pigeon Forge downtown, which by the way, Calby told me that somebody told him that Pigeon Forge downtown is basically the Las Vegas for the Baptist, which it seemed incredibly fitting just based on what was over there. But anyway, this hotel, the Wayback, which is actually a tribute collection hotel unbeknownst to us, happened to actually be a Marriott Hotel. Tribute hotels are a higher level kind of hotel within the Marriott brand. It's similar to the likes of Moxie's and a few others you could see on the screen right here. So a decently high level hotel. That which when actually searching through Delta Stays and finding this hotel, we were amazed to find that it was only $180 or a little more than $180 at a pocket book. But then for whatever reason, when I signed into my Delta account and re-looked at that hotel for the same dates that I was looking for just a couple seconds prior, the hotel was then again discounted by about 15%, which basically brings down the overall price of this technically higher level Marriott property down to just $157 out of pocket for the entire stay. But remember, we have that Delta Stays credit of $150, so you already know what happened. We went on Delta Stays, we booked and paid in full with this Delta Gold Sky Miles credit card, and no sooner than a couple days later, I got the $150 back and wham bam, that's the infamous $7 hotel. Which, by the way, this hotel from the outside is totally unforgiving. Walking up, I said, this place is a total motel. What did you get us into, Calby? But it had a really good location being right in the heart of downtown. Pigeon Forge. So we decided to give it a shot. And when we walked inside, we were really kind of taken way back. I mean, taking a back. <laughs> but actually quite literally taking way back, as in it looks somewhat retro inside the hotel itself. If you look at some of this artwork here and some of the color schemes, it kind of looks like it is taking us back to a different time. A more of a retro, almost retro futurism to a degree. And a lot of seating areas, and they had a whole restaurant in the back, and they had this bar area right here. So not super big, but a really nice hangout area that we actually ended up using later that night. Speaking of, I didn't realize this, but Calby told me that when you do book married hotels of the this caliber, kind of like Moxie's or I guess this Tribute Hotel, they're supposed to be a lot more fun and kind of like more millennial or Gen Z focused, aka as soon as we walked in and we were about to check in to our hotel room, they actually gave us a waiver, a coupon for a free drink, the special of whatever that bar was serving that night. To which, believe me, we went there and all four of us got a free drink. That's right, four free drinks just because we booked this $7 hotel through Delta Stays. Like, it's crazy. And yes, before you ask, Calby was a baller and he was tipping people with a $2 bill. To which the actual bartenders were like, man, I haven't seen this in so many years. Another round of drinks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> he, did, he didn't do that, but uh, you would hope, right? But seriously, $2 bills for tipping, like, always leaves a smile on their face, and it's really not that much money, and it's not that hard to get, so just go to your bank and ask for $2 bills. Let's normalize $2 bills, baby. Let's bring them back to the public. Let's make them popular again. And again, the outside really is not the most promising. It really looks like nothing, but the hotel room, when you walk in, is actually very, very nice. It's very renovated. We have double queen beds right here. We have updated, kind of almost minimalistic and modern amenities. Inside of this room, the furniture looks nice, and they even gave us two robes. And there was something that happened that, I guess on the surface, is not that crazy, but it seemed super weird at the time, and I was like, what is going on here when we first walked into this hotel room? When you look to the left, there's a door and I realized like it's not locked and I could technically open this so I was like is anybody in this room next to me is this a connecting room to which I just decided to chance it for whatever reason and I recorded and I opened the room and <laughs> luckily nobody was there right that I would hope to see Dugras in that room right there just laying on the bed <laughs> Dugras I'm still willing to pick you up from jail man I, I got you covered Dugras here with Dugras reports on the run from the man. But seriously, how weird was that, that I have a connecting room that basically does not lock from the other side, it only locks from my side? And this room literally has all the same amenities that my room has as well. It's like we have two rooms for the price of one. To which we actually asked the front desk and they said, oh, it's actually just like a maintenance room. It's, it's not even in use for anybody. So yeah, you can just use it however you want. Just, you know, go have fun. <laughs> So I was like, okay. Now, a couple things to note when you book a hotel in this way via third parties. Number one, when you book this hotel, it's a Marriott brand property, right? And what if you were like a titanium elite, a gold elite you get with your platinum card? What if you have these higher statuses with Marriott properties? Are they going to honor that status? Now, the answer is pretty much no, but it's at the hotel's discretion. So in the fine print, it actually states they are not supposed to give you status whatsoever, because you did book third party. You have to book direct with the hotel to get that. But when you do book these third parties like Expedia and what have you, they are not supposed to honor your status, but there are a lot of people, myself included, who have gotten their status honored. I've gotten Hilton dining credits and some upgrades and even some married benefits, even though Gold Elite doesn't give you that much. But just know that that's the exception and not the rule. So then you might be wondering, what if I put in my loyalty number at these brands when I get there because you can do that you can have them put in your membership number with these bigger brands and yes it will show up on your app like the Marriott's the Hilton's the Hyatt's it'll show up on your respective apps but by the time you finish that stay within a couple of days it will disappear from your app like nothing ever happened this hotel in particular showed up on my Marriott app and then a couple days later disappeared like I never even stayed there so remember if you're booking via Delta stays and it's like a Hilton and you want your dining credits very, very possible. You just have to make sure you ask at the front desk and they could possibly honor it. But don't feel bad if they don't. <laughs> Even though I, much like a lot of other people, have gotten them every single time, I just want to put that a caveat out there just in case. So you're not going to get your late night credits for staying there. You're not going to get your base points. Basically like 99% of the time. And one little tip too that Calby taught me is that when you're going to these touristy-like areas that have a lot of different amenities and events and whatnot that are going on in the area, ask the hotel if they have any coupons for things because they had about 50 coupons for things that we like could have used, could have never used, a million different things that you got like $2 off here, $5 off here, 10% off there that you can possibly go to and get discounted just because you asked the hotel. So that's something I'm going to be doing going forward from now on. In Gatlingburg, the downtown area was okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it because it just reminds me of like a more tame Nashville. So none of that stuff really excites me and I hate like the really, really, really touristy areas. But I guess it was okay for what it was. And then we actually did, if you guys are unfamiliar, there's something called Anakisa, which is like on top of a mountain overlooking the Smoky Mountains. And there's a lot of things up there that just scare the hell out of me because I think everything's just going to collapse below me. It's one of my phobias in life and, you know, they forced me to go on this freaking treetop thing and look at my face right here. I'm scared out of my mind because I'm just, I swear we're all going to drop and then that's the end of my life and then I can't make videos anymore. So, But this $7 hotel really has me thinking like, man, this hotel stay was pretty cool. Maybe not the most luxurious, maybe not the most lavish. You know, it's not limousine riding and wheeling, dealing, son of a gun type of hotels. I get it. It's no Waldorf Astoria. But it was a good stay for $7. In fact, they actually paid us because we got four free drinks from those drink vouchers, right? So, so really not bad. And if you might be saying like, well, no, you have to count the annual fee in there. Well, I haven't paid an annual fee yet, baby. 
We haven't paid. And we might just cancel the card before the annual fee hits. Who knows? But this really has me thinking about the higher tier Delta cards in that way. Like the Delta Business Platinum card comes with a $200 Delta Stays credit that you could also use towards maybe all these properties here. Like look right here. The Knoxville properties. There's a lot of nice ones here. Log cabins. Again, the Ancient Lore Village. A lot of different properties that you would never be able to see in day-to-day -day life. Even look at here in Charleston and really interesting, unique properties, Orlando properties, Texas properties. Look at Austin, Texas and all the unique properties you can book that are pretty much right around the $200 level. Heck, even New York has some that are around 200, but you probably don't want to book those at all. <laughs> like at all. And all these hotels can be booked with not just this Delta Stays credit, but could also be booked with Delta Sky Miles. So if you're somebody that's a Delta loyalist and maybe you're going to get all of their credit cards and you can amass, you know, hundreds of thousands of Delta Sky Miles and also just by flying Delta very, very often accruing more and more Delta Sky Miles every single flight that you take, whether it's for business or pleasure, all of those miles could also be wrapped into this Delta Stays credit, which you can then again book Hyatt's Hilton's and Marriott's just like everybody else. And you could just build up this one currency to book all of these different types of hotels. But really the main downside is, like I said earlier, you're not getting those status benefits 100% of the time. You're not earning those base points on those stays. And really, if you're trying to go to like a high level property, you're going to want to probably do a direct booking. So this way you have the best chances of status recognition possible. But I guess for some of these one-off hotels or just maybe like this medium tier kind of range for these hotels, I could definitely see a world where you kind of just build up a bunch of Sky Miles and book all these different hotels with your Sky Miles, kind of like how Cole Milani does on his channel with all of his United Miles. But that's just a Delta Stays credit. But if you want to see the real reason why I got this credit card in the first place to get a flight to Vegas completely for free. Check out this video next and I'm sure you're going to get a ton of value for it. And as always, tip your waitresses and thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you.